Hello, I'm Cindy Sharp with the Texas Retired Teachers Association, and today we're here with our Executive Director, Tim Lee. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Tim. It's so nice to have you here today. Thank you. We're going to give you an update on what's been happening in the Texas Legislature. And from what I understand, today has been an extremely busy day over there. What's been going on? It's been a great day for us. As a matter of fact, um, Chairman John Otto, who's the Chairman of the House Appropriations uh, Committee, made a special announcement uh, in committee this morning, and I actually think that we have a video clip of that. In appropriations this morning, I announced that I want to assure every member of this House that the House will fully fund TRS care. This issue is too important to go unaddressed, so I want to commit to you today that the House will fund our obligations to our retired teachers. We still have an issue coming up because of the uncertainty of health care, the uncertainty of, uh, of what the future looks like, but this is going to give us two years to sit down, the, the important players in this, to sit down and come up and work with you and, and uh, uh, Representative Ashby to come up with what we can look forward to to help our uh, uh, teachers permanently. Chairman Keffer, you bring up an excellent point, and I, I want to reiterate that there was a lot of thought given as to whether or not to look at all of the options that were available today to try to find a permanent solution. The problem is, two years from now, health care and health insurance may look completely different. So does it make sense to make drastic changes to plan design, to premium cost, when we will have a better idea at the next session on how to permanently address this issue? What does Chairman Otto's announcement mean? Well, the good news is that he's prepared to put about $768 million towards our health insurance program. So if you think about where we started uh, this conversation at the very beginning of session, we knew that we had a major shortfall in our health insurance. That major shortfall would have uh, caused retiree premiums to potentially double by the end of the session uh, if, we didn't, if we didn't get the money. And so what, what he is saying is that on the House side, it is their intention to fully fund the shortfall. And we believe that will protect retiree premiums from going up. Uh, still a long process, and we've got many other parts of this that have to fall into place. Uh, but the good news for our retirees is that it's a, it's a major uh, flag in the ground uh, saying we're going to start from this point, and that is that we intend to, to fill this hole and protect retirees' uh, health insurance premiums. Now, what about the, the Senate? What are they talking about in regards to the TRS care shortfall? You know, the Senate has been working on it for a little bit as well, and you know, the good news on the Senate side is we have a lot of friends over there too that uh, have made you know, very uh, positive comments about trying to protect retirees' health insurance. We haven't had a specific plan come out of the Senate. Um, like we did just see in the House this morning uh, with Chairman Otto saying that he would, you know, he looks forward to putting that $768 million in the budget. I haven't heard that specifically out of the Senate. I can say that we're working very closely with many folks that are very interested in, in this issue. Um, over the next couple of weeks, I do expect the Senate to bring forward a plan. That plan may not look exactly like what the House looks like. And so, you know, in the legislative process, the Senate has their version of a budget and the House has their version of the budget. Uh, and eventually they've got to come together and agree on what the final budget's going to be. Okay, so what's TRTA's next step and what should our members be doing right now as this process continues? Well, n number one, I think our members have to understand that they have made a major difference in this discussion. If our members had not been involved prior to the start of the legislative session uh, and sent the letters in that they, that they sent in and also communicating over the phone and of course all of our members visiting offices, uh, we would not probably be where we are today. This is, a, this is a reason to be enthusiastic, and it's, and it's very attributable to the work that our members have been doing. So we want to keep up that, that goodwill. Uh, we want to make sure that our legislators are hearing positive comments from their retirees in their district and saying, um, this is very much needed. We appreciate what the House is doing. Uh, we know we still have a, a, a long way to go to, to get it solved completely, uh, but this is a reason to be happy, and we're very grateful for it. All right. Now, I know that it's been a very busy week in the Texas legislature, but as I understand it, the TRTA legislative team is actually going to be in Washington, D.C. next week. So uh, what are y'all going to be doing there? Well, probably going to be very cold. But aside from that fact, uh, we are going to go to a, a national uh, conference on pension protection and retirement security. Uh, as part of that conference, Congressman Kevin Brady is coming to be a special guest. 
and he's going to talk to um, stakeholders from around the country uh, about his bill, the windfall elimination provision bill uh, that he is pushing forward. Uh, and we hope to see that pass, of course, this congressional cycle. So we're going to be building um, stakeholder interest uh, and, and trying to move that bill forward uh, in, in the next couple of weeks. That's excellent news, Tim. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Glad to do it. And thank you for joining us today on TRTA TV. Please be sure and stay tuned for additional updates as the legislative session continues and stay up to date with information by following our Facebook page and our Twitter feed. Thank you and have a great day.